Hello, welcome to the weekend. I'm Jeff Matthews, CNYWeatherTainment.com. Don't forget you can follow me on the Twitter. There's my handle. And contact me on my Contact Me page, too. You can let me know about an event that's happening, some kind of interesting weather, a photograph you can send me that I can add to the picture page for viewers as well. You can invite me to your kid's school. A teacher or a student can invite me to your school as well. I'd be happy to come. Or to your event, if you have an event you'd like a speaker at. Meanwhile, the weather comes down to two things. Roasty toasty, my friends, right on through the middle of next week. Unseasonably warm. You'll need to water the garden, too, because rain chances, none, until Tuesday afternoon. Small chance Tuesday afternoon, SM all. A little bigger chance on Wednesday and Friday of next week. And it's 19 days until calendar autumn. The average is now down on the thermometer to 72, which makes the distance between the average and where we're headed that much greater, meaning well above average temperatures for the weekend, right on through early in the week. Maybe a significant cool down coming in a week on Friday and next weekend. But the dew point, gotten better. It dropped off Friday as predicted to the high 50s. That means most of us are not complaining much. It'll hold there through Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday begin creeping up into Tuesday into the uncomfortable category, which would be in the mid to upper 60s on the dew point scale. All right, let's look big picture and see what's going on. Remember I told you about a storm across the Great Lakes that would sit there and spin and die out, and that's exactly what's happening. Look at that. No motion to the ocean there, my friend, just sitting and spinning, just as predicted, because high-pressure areas are surrounding it, blocking it, and drying it out. It has nowhere to go, and there's nowhere for anything to push it towards because those highs are just sitting in place and chewing it up and keeping us in the black, which is good news for us. Look at that. Hardly any cloud cover in the sky across the state of New York. The only cloud cover is the afternoon firing up of storms around that storm center itself. But with each passing day, that'll dissipate more and more. And on the water vapor imagery, you can see how it's surrounded by very dark black coloring, indicating very dry air on the water vapor imagery. That's very dry. Will not allow much of any cloud cover to exist or to grow. So, we happen to be in the black, something New York can't say very much of in other ways. But we are on the water vapor imagery. And that means we're going to stay that way as this fizzles out, as we're surrounded by areas of high pressure that will keep us high and dry, all the way from Forest Port for Pat down to Becky and Wellsville, and all points in between, including KJ and Oneonta and Diane Deerfield and Rick in Utica. And in fact, all the way to my friends in Jersey, Jeff and Verona, and to the eastern seaboard, because that high pressure area is just growing and growing and growing with time. Here's a look at your almanac. Nothing too dramatic to note, other than that we're dropping below 13 hours of daylight. Your forecast is next. Why do you keep checking the time? I'm waiting for Jeff Matthews to update CNY Weathertainment. It'll be there. hitting that thing. I'm waiting for the updated forecast. We're gonna break that. Forecast time. The good looking forecast here my friends. Sunny on Saturday, unseasonably warm. Predicting a high of 84. I calculated that with the slide ruler and the solar calculator. Can't use the solar calculator at night though because the sun is down. Clear, mild, 57, and for your Sunday, a ditto day. Sunny, very warm, toasty, high of 86 degrees. Can we do it again for Monday? You bet we can. That's in the seven day forecast. You know what? Looking. Tony the time to like right on through Monday. The breezes will pick up Monday afternoon. They'll stay breezy on Tuesday. Small, SMO chance for a thunder shower Tuesday afternoon. Small. A little better on Wednesday, dry on Thursday, and another chance on Friday. So if you've got a garden, you'll need to water until at least Tuesday. And if you're thinking about the pool or the Adirondacks, head out, head in, because the weather's going to be unseasonably warm through in the middle of next week. Have a great holiday weekend.